sound of 169 furious tire smoking ponies and the sound of a new project. All right guys, today we're starting a new project. I'm kind of excited about it. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing like I did with the 350Z. I bought a bunch of junk and we're gonna build one good car out of it. And the car we're gonna put together is this 99, I think, uh, GT Mustang. Um, some drivetrain component went bad and the guy decided to part it out and we bought what was left. <laughs> same thing with 350Z. The white car was like halfway parted out, it had a bad motor. Um, I picked it up, bought like two other cars to make one good car. I'm gonna do a video breaking down that process. But anyway, this is gonna be the detailed video of building a project like this. But we have a donor car. This is a 2001 convertible that's been crashed. It is a manual, you know, it's, you know, it's a no brainer, right? No one wants an automatic. But it looked like it was a really nice, well-kept car. Um, from It was an older gentleman. He said that he let his son drive it and his son crashed it, so. But yeah, we'll get more into this thing later. This is not the car that matters because all we're taking out of this is engine transmission, maybe one or two things. This is the car we care about. But like I said, it's missing, only thing that I need, it's missing the hood. Uh, let's see, there's no engine, no transmission. And like everything I buy, it's really turdy and probably should be taken to the scrapyard. Let's see what else. It has, it's suffering from like the, the classic white paint peeling that a lot of white vehicles suffer from. That kind of sucks. I didn't see that in the picture when I got there. It kind of bummed me out. But since this is going to be a, kind of like a little party car or whatever, it um, has a sweet Flowmaster exhaust, which I imagine he would have kept if he could have got it off the axle. But the other car has like a, a, a nice exhaust on it too, so. We have tail lights. Ugh. It's really dirty in this thing, but it's gonna be fully gutted, so don't care. Some damage right here, which I'm not gonna focus too much on, but I'm gonna try to straighten it up a little bit. Just pull it out, try to make it look better than that. Somebody done a very bad job plastic dipping wheels. Some more of the flaky white paint. Some horrible window tint we gotta address. We do have a front bumper in here. Oh man, this thing's so nasty. Look at that. Oof. So yeah, we're definitely gutting this car. I'm not, I'm not riding around breathing this stuff. So it's gonna probably keep keep definitely keep the dash, maybe the door panels, I'm not sure yet. But the rest of the interior is going to go just because it's old and dirty and disgusting. And I don't want to touch it. So. But other than that, the car seems to be pretty solid. I mean, I think it's a good base for a cheap budget project. And that's what I want. Um, this past drift event I went to, I kind of really got bit by the bug. The 350Z done awesome. Really it's basically looking for some really cheap seat time cars. Of course, everyone knows the Z. I think these are becoming, you know, I guess like maybe your second. I don't know. I'm not really a drifter. I just do it because it's fun. But I think this is a good seat time car. Seems like it. Uh, so basically going to be just a bare, simple things. Already, it'll have an exhaust on it. Just the, you know, stock manifolds. But not going to put a lot of time money into it probably need to buy like a little angle kit or something because I think these have like horrible angle but it's not that bad a shape it's just really dirty so I think it will be a good start so all right guys that's pretty much it um, like I said with the Z I really didn't go into detail of like what the cost I had in the cars that I bought and parts that I sold how much I made and all that good stuff with this car I'm gonna go into a little more 
a little bit more of a detail with it. Um, with the Z, I actually ended up making money. I have zero dollars in that car. That's counting uh, buying the, the handbrake, um, the exhaust, tires, the seats, all that stuff that's in that car. Absolutely zero money out of pocket. Um, I actually ended up making money on that deal. So um, this project's going to go the same way. I'm going to just basically show y'all exactly, you know, tell you what I've sold and what I made and all that good stuff and kind of keep you a little bit more up to date and uh, just a little more in depth with the project. Like I said, it's already working out pretty good. I've already sold uh, 360 bucks worth of stuff off of the, uh, the wrecked car, the, the donor car. I got rid of the wheels, two of them were busted, and sold the Cadillac converters off of it. So we're 360 bucks up. Um, I didn't have to do any work, uh, just recuperate money. I didn't have to take stuff off. They just come and got the stuff, I have to worry about it. Uh, so I only paid 700 for the car, so I've already made 360. That's not too shabby. So it's working out pretty good. And we still got a lot of stuff to sell. <laughs> but we do have some bad, like a little bit of bad news with the engine. Uh, I was kind of holding off um, with this project. I actually didn't get, or did get the engine running, which you heard. Uh, but it did suffer some damage in the accident. I'll flip it around and show you real quick. You can kind of see you right here. The cover's cracked a little bit. You know, this frame rail, it got smushed over into the car. This car was wrecked pretty bad. Uh, it just kind of cracked it there. It split it, busted it the whole case, like right down through here. But to me, that's no big deal. I don't care. Um, when I pull the engine out, I'll probably throw some fresh gaskets on this thing, you know, like a uh, valve cover. I have to get a new front cover, front cover gasket, old pan gasket. And uh, just some basic stuff. It's probably kind of a bit of a risk to run this thing like that, but. I just wanted to make sure that it, it would actually run before I wasted the money and time on the car. But anyway, it's got some good stuff, you know, like uh, has new injectors, coils, uh, 70 millimeter throttle body from Edelbrock. So someone loved and cared about the car. A lot of the AC stuff looks like brand spanking new. So, but I doubt this thing will have AC. I'm probably just going to tear it all out and just basically make it completely gutted which I might give it a shot because all the lines and stuff are here I don't know I don't know not having AC sucks that's just past drift event without AC in that thing oh it's torturous but anyway I think we got a good start uh, for a decent little fun having project uh, so I'm really excited to get started hoping it won't take too long and I do have some updates coming for the rotary and the V8 car just be patient <laughs> having some little technical difficulties with my uh computer and all my stuff so anyway yeah that's gonna be it for now um appreciate you guys for watching this thing is going to be a fun project it's going to come together quick i hope you'll stick around um it's gonna be awesome and i think i'm going to name which to me is hilarious it's funny i'm not really a uh a mustang guy i do like them this is probably my favorite body style of the mustang uh that's affordable <laughs> but I think I'm going to name this Project Crowd Control, which is hilarious. That's funny to me. So if you're a Mustang guy, don't get mad at me. But anyway, that's going to be it for now, guys. Like always, appreciate you watching. Hope you'll take the time or consider liking, subscribing, sharing, and all that good stuff. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. We'll get this thing cleaned up, get some of the parts off of it that we're not going to need or use, and get started. Get the engine out get it in here get some things running so we can do some burnouts go drifting the fun stuff that everybody wants to see but anyway see you on the next one guys